All right, Big Daddy's bench before the move. Uh, this one's going to be on the TX side of the bench. Um, today we're going to do the test radio, which on the bench is the uh, Galaxy 2547, because uh, it's got dial -a watt in it, and it does have automatic SWR, so we can tell the input SWR when we use this to drive an amplifier. That goes up to two um, watt meters. One is set to SWR, which is also an automatic SWR uh, computing watt meter, so I don't have to calibrate and set it. Waste too much time. And the other one I just use to measure the watts. That's if I'm going to use this to drive an amplifier. It makes it very easy to see how much watts are going into the amplifier and what's the input SWR of an amplifier and to set that. That's very important. Um, Anyway, that coax from the watt meters and the radio come down to the uh, switch box here. Um, and then from the switch box, it would go up to the uh, main watt meter, which shows um, uh, it's a peak reading, average reading, uh, 2200, 2000. Uh, depending on whether I'm using a radio or an amp. On peak, the movement's very slow. So I usually put it on average. And I use this big guy for peaking radios. Very easy to see. Uh, when peaking, I don't like digital meters for peaking amplifiers. Very hard to see small, delicate movements. But you can with this uh, big watt meter. From there, we go into the scope. Yeah, we also like to look at signals, especially... Um, modulation we can look and see when we're clipping and uh, over modded or distorted or harmonics and stuff we can see that with the uh, scope and from there it goes into this MFJ watt meter more or less uh, watt meter dummy load and we pretty much use it for a dummy load um, however there is a switch on it where we can signal send the signal down into the uh, Syncor um, generator which also has a <clears throat> digital watt meter and it will show watts on that RF scale and on the digital scale however it's very hard to peak and it's very hard to show it when it shows uh, digital watts so we rarely use that it also shows um, percentage of modulation negative and positive but positive only goes to a hundred and most of us that peak radios um, um, set the positive modulation way over 100, so that's not much good either. So we don't really use the Syncor for transmit readings at all. Basically, uh, we just use the uh, SWR input watt meter here, this one for RF watts out, and then into the dummy load uh, and the scope basically uh, for transmitting. We do have a switch here for TX and RX and uh, if you've seen the videos when I go from TX over to RX I reach over uh, and hit the switch for RX and that's going to be uh, another video. That's it for Big Daddy's uh, transmit bench.